Hey guys, welcome back to Hardware Unboxed. I'm your host Matt, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at ASRock's unique G10 gaming router. Better known for its gaming motherboards, when ASRock revealed their foray into the router market, it was quite a surprise to many of us. And the MUMIMO powered G10 gaming router made quite the impression at Computex. MUMIO is the latest Wi Fi technology that allows for simultaneous access for mobile devices, desktops, and networked appliances to a router or access point, and plenty of devices equipped with the technology are reaching the market right now. The G10 boasts some impressive specifications. Powered by a Qualcomm dual core 1.4 GHz processor, the 4x4 dual band 802.11 AC gigabit router claims 800 megabits per second on its 2.4 GHz band and 1733 megabits on the 5 GHz band. It's also equipped with 512 megabytes of DRAM and supports a range of features which we'll get into a little later. What really sets this router apart is this little detachable HDMI dongle which sits on top of the router. This dongle can be removed and plugged into any HDMI port and used for Miracast and AirPlay. And as it's also a 2x2 wireless end device, it can also be used as a travel router, allowing you to convert an internet connection into Wi-Fi on the go. Now let's take a look at the router itself. ASRock state that the design concept for their prototype began from a router or decoration for the living room, or even an art piece for public spaces. Therefore, they decided to create a stereoscopic tower-shaped router. I mean, it does look pretty cool for a router, however, I can't see many people using it as the centerpiece in their home. Anyway, port-wise, we've got four gigabit LAN ports at the back, and of course, the gigabit WAN port. The dongle at the top has a WAN port of its own too for internet connection sharing, as well as a micro USB port for the five volt power source. Just beneath the dongle here, we have the infrared transmitter and receiver, and WPS buttons for both the five gigahertz band and the 2.4 gigahertz band. Underneath the ethernet ports are two USB 3 ports where you can plug in storage devices and enable easy NAS access for your network. Below these are just the power switch and the DC in port. Finally, there are eight high performance antennas, none of which you can see as they're all internal. So as you can see, the G10 is it in a bit in terms of ports and features. Using their easy setup application, you can automatically detect internet configuration settings, which is pretty standard, but also configure your gaming boost bandwidth settings. This allows you to basically set aside a certain amount of bandwidth specifically for gaming, so that your sister down the hallway can't hog all the bandwidth streaming Justin Bieber to her iPad while you're trying to wreck dudes in COD. It could be pretty handy. There's also an ASRock router app that you can install on your iPhone or Android device. Using this app, you can have the G10 learn the infrared signals of your various remote controls, and then simply use your smartphone as a universal remote to control all of your home appliances. This was a little clunky to set up as you need to teach the router each remote control function individually. You do also need to keep in mind that it can only really work with devices in the same room as the router due to the line of sight limitations of infrared. One cool thing it does allow you to do is control your devices from anywhere in the world. For instance, if you teach you to control your split system, you can turn on your heater or aircon when you're leaving work so you can get home to an already warm or cool living room. As I mentioned earlier, you can connect storage devices through two USB 3 ports at the back of the router, and these can be set up to stream media and files via Easy NAS. It took a bit of playing around, but once we got it set up, we were able to connect a USB 3 portable storage device and stream media and files to any connected and capable device. And you can even set it up as a personal cloud server for remote access to your files. Now, let's take a look at the dongle. Most gamers and enthusiasts have probably sorted some way to get their media streaming to their TV already. But for those that don't and will benefit from the flexibility and portability of the dongle, it's a really great feature. I know in my house we have media PCs hooked up already, so we probably never use it, but I can definitely see how it'd be handy for those that don't. In our brief tests, mirror casting worked well and we're able to stream 1080p content smoothly from a laptop through Wi-Fi to our living room using the dongle. The internet connection sharing is the other nifty feature of the dongle. While the dongle itself is very portable, you do also need to have the WAN ethernet cable available and plugged in of course, and then you also need to have the micro USB power cord plugged into the dongle too. It's gonna to take some foresight and planning. 
Most people will also want to have their laptop plugged into a power source and you'll need to be near enough to wherever the WAN Ethernet is poking out. Once all this is in place, you aren't going to be feeling very mobile and pretty much anywhere that's offering you an internet connection has Wi-Fi already, so I feel like this is going to be a scarcely used feature for most people, but I could be wrong. So overall, the ASRock G10 is a very impressive unit. Truly rich in features, it goes above and beyond what you'd expect from a gaming router. The dongle and USB ports for NAS devices in particular really set this unit apart and bridges the gap between router and entertainment device, although they probably aren't going to satisfy true power users. Performance wise, the G10 can't be faulted either, utilising the latest in Wi-Fi technology to deliver fast speeds and reliable connection for a premium experience. We aren't exactly sure of the G10's pricing yet at this stage, but it looks like the MSRP is $250, which definitely puts it at the pricier end of the spectrum. For those that will utilise all of its unique features, it will likely present great value, but not so much for those that won't. Thanks for watching another instalment of Hardware Unboxed. I'm your host Matt and I'd love to hear if you'll be considering upgrading to the G10 when it's released. Don't forget to hit like, hit subscribe and I'll see you next time.